oftentimes in the church in the U.S., we talk about and hear about a time in our country where prayer was taken out of schools. And what we refer to when we say that is a Supreme Court decision that was made in 1962 that prohibited the school-sponsored reciting of prayer in our public school systems in the U.S. But I'm here to tell you, friends, prayer is not out of schools in the United States. Today, September 27th, is the global day of student prayer and a day that we call see you at the pole where all over our nation thousands of students are going to be gathering around their flagpoles lifting up the name of jesus and praying prayers of petition to god of heaven that he would come and move within our nation and within our school systems students i want to read this scripture from first timothy chapter 4 over you paul speaks to a young timothy and says let no one despise you for your youth but set the believers an example in speech in conduct in other words the way you live in love and faith in impurity students you have a calling in Jesus today to set an example for all those around you you have a calling to bring prayer into your school to bring a conversation with God into your school today to set an example for all those around you and glorify the name of Jesus I want to encourage you, when you go to school this morning, head straight to your flagpole, even if you're the only one there, and begin to pray for your school. Begin to pray for our nation. Pray for your teachers and faculty. Pray for your fellow students, for our families, for the church in our nation, for the businesses in our nation, and ask God to release his kingdom here on the earth in our nation as it is in heaven. Pray for a revival and watch what God will do. The rest of us, we need to get behind our students in prayer. Let's pray that God would give them boldness to proclaim his word and his gospel, to pray openly and boldly, to worship openly and boldly on our college campuses, our high school and junior high, our elementary school, even preschool campuses, that we would see little ones lifting up the name of Jesus and crying out to him on behalf of our nation. Beloved, God answers prayer, and we need prayer now more than ever. We need a revival in our nation. Father, we're praying even right now that you would come and grant boldness to our students today. Lord, that as they go and step in and to their schools on their campuses and lift up prayers, Father, that you would answer in power and in glory, that there would be opportunities to share your gospel, that you would even do miraculous signs and wonders and confirm the glory in the name of Jesus. God, we ask, move in our nation and stir a revival in Jesus' name. Also, if you are in the East Valley today, if you live in the East Valley of Phoenix or you're around this area, I want to invite you to join us tonight at Evident Life Church at 6.30 p.m. for a worship and prayer gathering that is going to be led by our students here at Evident Life. We're going to be coming and worshiping and praying over our schools, over our nation. And these students are fired up. They are awesome. They're going to stir you up and they need us to get behind them. Come pray with us and see God move through our prayers. May you be blessed today as you pray and we hope to see you tonight. God bless you.